On November the 29th, 1941, Reinhard Heydrich, director of the Reich Main Security Office, summoned high-ranking officials, SS and police officers, and representatives from the Nazi government's operational departments to a summit scheduled to take place on December the 9th. It was supposed to deal with the deportation of German Jews to the East. With the December 1941 Japanese attack on the American fleet at Pearl Harbor and the U.S.'s entry into war, the summit was postponed to January the 20th, 1942. The final solution, the systematic murder of Jews, which had begun in the summer of 1941, continued and intensified. Therefore, the deportation of German Jews ultimately was not discussed at the summit, but rather methods for achieving the most efficient and comprehensive cooperation between all levels of government in the murder of European Jewry. According to most historians, the decision to murder Europe's Jews was not reached at the summit, as was previously thought, but rather months earlier. The systematic murder had already commenced with the German invasion of the USSR. As part of the Operation Barbarossa and with the construction of the Chelno and Belzec extermination camps in the fall of 1941.